Welcome to our lecture online and here we are on our next step, on our next step of many, many steps on how to do integration. And the next rule is how do we integrate a variable raised to a power, for example, x to the n power, n could be any number. And so the rule is that you, when you integrate, you add one to the exponent and divide that by the new exponent and add a constant of integration. So for example, if you have x cubed, then when we integrate that, this becomes x to the third plus one. We add one and then we divide that by three plus one. All right, so let's try that. Let's try that on these examples. So this would then become x to the three plus one divided by three plus one plus a constant of integration. Of course, this becomes x to the fourth power divided by four plus a constant of integration. And that's how you integrate something like that, of course. You can now see that you don't necessarily have to write this. You could probably just simply go x to the fourth divided by four and just go straight from this step to this step. All right, here we have another example. Pi is a, a number, so y raised to the pi power dy. The integral of that is equal to y to the pi plus one uh, divided by pi plus one. So here we cannot readily add one to pi, and so we're just simply going to write it like that. And of course, don't forget the constant of integration. All right, in our last example, you say, well, wow, what do I do here? Z to the minus five, but the rule is no different here. It doesn't matter what the exponent is. Always add one to the exponent, divide by a new exponent. So to illustrate, this is equal to, oh, the integral, when we integrate, the integral sign, of course, drops off, and then we get Z to the minus five plus one. I'll just go ahead and put the intermediate step here so you can see how it's done. Divided by minus five plus one. And so this, oh, don't forget the constant of integration, plus c, and so this becomes z to the minus four power divided by minus four plus c. And of course, you could write that as one over z to the positive four power, and so this could be written as minus one over four times z to the fourth power plus c. Again, it, it's the exact same thing. It doesn't matter as long as you know how to integrate it. All right, and here's some three nice little examples of how to illustrate to how you integrate x to some power n. And that's how we do that. That was lesson two. On to lesson three.